morning. It is April 25th, Monday morning. Monday morning already. But April 25th, in our devotional, it says, Reasonable Expectations. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 28. The hope of the righteous will be gladness, but the expectation of the wicked will perish. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 12. Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a longing fulfilled is a tree is a tree of life. Psalm chapter 9, verse 18. For the needy shall not always be forgotten. The expectation of the poor shall not perish forever. Psalm chapter 62, verse 5. My soul wait silently for God alone, for my expectation is for him. Proverb chapter 11, verse 23. The desire of the righteous ends only in good, the expectation of the wicked in wrath. Psalm chapter 119, verse 130 through 131. The teaching of your word gives light, so even the simple can understand. I, I pant with expectation, longing for your commands. Philippians chapter 1 verse 20 and 21. It is my eager expectation and hope that I will not be at all ashamed, but that with full courage, now as always, Christ will be honored in my body, whether by life or by death. For to me, to live is Christ and to die is gain. And at the bottom, it says, Disappointments are often the result of women's high expectations and their reality that just don't measure up. What are your expectations for your marriage, your children, your work, and your friendships? Have you shared your expectations with these role, role players? Is the expectation that you have of others fair and feasible? Maybe you couldn't meet other people's reasonable expectations. Then go and make peace. Forgive yourself and then give your weaknesses over to God in prayer. So what are your reasonable expectations today? I know my expectation is to hurry and go home. I'm so ready to go home. That's what I look forward to, to, to the day that he comes and gets me, which I hope is one day soon. I hope it's one day soon. I'm so tired. But he has a plan, and it'll be in his timing. I know. And his timing will be perfect. But one day soon, hopefully. <laughs> My window points to the east, and I always think about how it says that he'll uh, as lightning flashes from the east to the west so I'm like mm, I'm just waiting for that cloud to come by with Jesus on it to come pick me up <laughs> but that's my expectation that's 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 what I long for that's what I want hopefully I'll get it for my birthday you think <laughs> but what's your expectation uh, post it in the comments below okay I love you guys. As always, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Like, share, and subscribe. Join me on the Disciple Server. Uh, the link is in the description. Um, I do three study groups a week. And I would love for you to join. Um, I call it a study group because I like for everybody to join and put your input in. Okay? I'm no teacher. There's no teacher. There's only one teacher. And that's the Holy Spirit. That's God himself working through the Holy Spirit who inspires each one of us and gives each one of us a puzzle piece. It's up to us to put that puzzle together. And we can't put that puzzle fully together unless you join us. So join us, okay? We need your puzzle piece. I love you guys. As always, uh, I hope you have a very blessed day. 
And if I don't see you in the next video, I hope to see you in heaven. Bye, guys.